How's it going, fellow traders? It's Magic Trader here for another weekend edition of the breakdown of the latest uh, CFTC caught reports. This one is dated May 30th, 2017. And um, on my report, I put a nice picture of Steve Cohen there. I don't know. I wanted a, a nice picture to represent hedge funds as. Um, the title of the report was what are the hedge funds showing us that they have planned for the US dollar so here's a breakdown of the data the latest data uh, that just came out on the latest report uh, showing all the positions you know how it works long shorts total total percentage long so based on their position sizes what percent of their total exposure to that one currency uh, are they long or are they short and then what the net positions are and so forth so here's the report full report as you can see I changed my color scheme on my charts I'm going for a more vintage type of look I was getting really bored of just plain Jane White if you take a look I have plain Jane White here boom look at that look at the difference between that and this right so much more pleasing to the eye so since I have to stare at charts all the time I might as well uh, stare at charts that look pleasing to the eye so let's change this trend line here I missed that one because there's a new low here all right okay so <clears throat> excuse me let's take a look at the uh, the data uh, see what the hedge funds have been doing with their positions for the majors and and for their gold and oil, and then we'll try to interpret what it is that they are a uh, the, what they're about to do based on supply and demand. All right. So first things first, if we take a look at um, oil, will or soil soil <laughs> or gold, I should say. If we look at gold, May thirtieth. The uh, position sizes have gone um, even higher for for longs. Okay, they were 241,000 and now they are 250,000. So they've gone up slightly, but at the same time they've also gone up with their shorts. So I look at shorts and I see they went from 81,000 to 83,000. But I also take into consideration that shorts right now are cooled off. All right, so they're not aggressive. What is slightly aggressive are their longs, right? If you look at the longs, you can see the longs are slightly aggressive, that coloration of the cells. So this data comes as this candle is being formed right here. So that was a consolidation candle right at a weekly supply area right here. So that consolidation candle is being created and as that candle was being created the institutions were adding longs and they were also adding shorts now remember they were heavily short back here 94,000 positions short so two uh, one two candles back one two here they were okay which helped to cause price to drop through that trend line and down into this area so then they since closed it off because they wanted this move to the upside. So this completely makes sense, right? Take a look here at net positions. Very strong over the last three weeks, right? Including this cell here. Over the last three weeks, boom, boom, boom. So here, here, and here. Very strong net positions geared to the long side. Now, what do we have? We have a monthly area of supply that's really poorly formed so I'm not expecting this zone to uh, to cause much of um, of a drop in price I do expect price to get into it and have some kind of reaction to the downside because it is it is supply it is a valid supply area so um, but it obviously is that the institutions are long bias gold all right and the fact that the US dollar is dropping from three month supply there's no wonder that they are long biased. The only thing that's got me thinking here is the US dollar is just about to hit a monthly demand zone which we are expecting price to head back up from. So if if that hits that monthly demand and it heads up usually gold moves in the opposite direction so 
we could get a move like this where price hits this sinks deep into here and then we get a move like that All right that's that's highly likely to happen highly likely simply because of the US dollar not because this is a great um, a nicely formed monthly supply area but only because of this um, this reaction that we're expecting to the upside from the US dollar alright but I will be keeping an eye on here on this data because this is going to help me decide on whether or not I'll be taking short trades off of this monthly supply area or if I'll just be sitting on the sidelines and waiting for something else to happen alright so let's take a quick look here at gold and as we're looking let's just get rid of all those other lines that we have three month hitting three month CP supply six month 20 EMA three month bullish engulfing created off of it then we break through the zone drop down hit the three month demand zone that removed this area here we're moving up to the upside so three month demand is in control we move up we drop so three months so monthly demand so we need monthly demand to kick things back into gear so that definitely could happen so based on my analysis we need at least a monthly force to get things to to propel back up and if you see the monthly chart there is nothing here I mean we got this area here but that's only a monthly bullish engulfing so we could get a reaction like this down here before heading back up so very much very very possible for that to happen all right very possible for that to happen all right so but I'll be watching the data to really help me with that and I'll also be watching the reaction of gold uh, what I'd like to see is once we get up into this area of supply if I start seeing shorts being added to and longs being closed out and um, I see some good setups to the downside then you know then it could be interesting let's look at the daily chart again monthly supply is up here monthly supply is up here nice area here daily nested within that area so we could get reaction from there So we could get daily wows to be traded on the way down. That's possible. All right. Yeah, so I'll be watching the data. I'll see what the reaction is. It looks like we're going to get a drop from that area simply because the U.S. dollar coming into that uh, monthly demand zone. All right, so next we have on the list is oil. What do we see with oil? They pretty much did nothing with oil. If you look at longs and shorts and you look at the net positions, they pretty much didn't make any moves whatsoever. And that happened with this candle of consolidation right here on the weekly chart. So price consolidated at the descending weekly trend line and they pretty much did nothing. All right, uh, coloration of the cells slightly green, but not green enough for me to make any moves, right? So what's the situation here? Situation is that we're in a monthly non two to one demand zone, so we could get a move to the upside, but it's not the strongest area of demand. And this area of weekly demand that was nested within it uh, wasn't directly responsible for removing an opposing zone. So the fact that we're getting that reaction from that area, it, it doesn't say much. Okay, it doesn't give me the confidence uh, to take a, a long trade. And anyone taking long trades up through this area here would have been uh, stuck right now as it's re reacting to the downside like I had mentioned uh, in previous videos we want to see that weekly trend line get removed before we um, get a little bit uh, um, or, or have a, the idea of wanting to get in uh, to the long side and plus you know longs are aggressive here but the colorations of the cells aren't really showing anything like if we, we if we get these type of cells okay 80 82 percent bright green and this weekly trend line out boom I'm getting in long all right I'll, I'll, I'll be watching for the reaction off of this area here 
up at these highs here I'll be watching for that but if that's out I'll be trading at least up to that area but for now sitting on the sidelines sidelines not making any move and waiting to see what the institutions do US dollar here we are we've been expecting price to drop to here all right, this is nested within this area of monthly demand. We're reacting from a three-month CP supply zone with a three-month uptrend. So technically, what tends to happen is price drops to a monthly zone before price continues back up to the upside. So colorations of the cells here are red, so slight bearish bias, which is what we've seen. Uh, longs are cooled off, shorts are aggressive, which makes sense. That's why we're getting that move to the downside. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to clear my throat. Let me just take a sip of coffee. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. So we are expecting a move from down here back to the upside. So I'll be watching the data to look for those signs. Uh, net positions are still geared to the long side, believe it or not. And um, so with net positions geared to the long side, it looks like what's going to happen is once price gets down to this area, um, we're going to get that move to the upside. But I want to see the institutions adding their longs. I want to see them closing out their shorts. Uh, and then I want to see some conviction that they're going to take things to the upside from down here. And when I start to see that conviction there, then I'll be looking for those confirmation trades to the upside. All right, so let's go with the Aussie dollar, Aussie. So we're getting that reaction from a non two to one monthly demand zone here, monthly wow demand that I have drawn based on the trend line that I have. And so price reacted fr from it and created a weekly bullish engulf. And so typically nested within a weekly bullish engulf is we have wow trades. And so in this case, we didn't have a break of a trend line because the trend line was right here like that. So trend line was holding, but we did have this area here, this area of demand that took out this area of supply right here price dropped into it and now we're getting reactions strong strong reaction from this area here so I was uh, I'm waiting for H4 longs off of that area and we have this area here now H4 demand zone Shoop. nested within this reaction here bullish engulfing I'm going to be looking to take long trades down here. That's just me. But let me just talk this out loud. So, US dollar dropping, this should go up. But once it hits that monthly, it's going to reverse and head up. This should start to head down. So it could drop even further down. Could drop even further down. So this will be tricky because if the US dollar drops into monthly demand and then reacts to the upside, this is going to react to the downside from where? From where? Hard to say. So this is a tricky one. This will probably be a good short term trade because since the US dollar is weak, you know, for three to one, and that's about it. So we'll see when price reverses and heads, if price reverses and heads down here, then I'll, I'll take a look at what's happening with the, with the US dollar, and then I'll make my decision from there. So, but the Aussie dollar is, uh, longs are in cool territory, and so are shorts, right? Net positions are a positive, but very, very low colorations of the cells here neutral so basically the better idea is to sit on my hands and do nothing so uh, so yeah I, I might just sit on my hands and do nothing or try to be a hero and get in this one early down at this four hour zone so I'll see what price action looks like I'll see what the US dollar looks like and if everything uh, shows me that there's a good chance of that that move to the upside then then I'll take the trade if not I'll sit on my hands US CAD what are they doing with the US CAD 
So longs remain aggressive, and they've been aggressive for the last, what, five, six weeks? Longs are aggressive. We now hit a weekly area of demand. And shorts are cooled off. So shorts are cooled off with this consolidation candle at that weekly demand zone. Long exposure is 84%, and that's, that's pretty massive. So what I see happening here is we continue this consolidation, which is what we see here continue the consolidation until we until the US dollar reacts from that monthly area of demand and then once that monthly area of demand starts to kick in and the institutions start to fill in their their buy orders I think we're gonna see a nice rally up like this so I um, I have orders here to go long and they were not triggered reversing back this could be a nice area here this daily demand area here I've been looking at let me see did it reach a two to one two, two, two. it did that could be a really nice area for a long daily confirmation off of a weekly demand zone I initially had uh, it here yeah reacted yep everything's legit so I might be planning a trade the only thing I don't like is the reaction to the upside but but um, I've noticed very, very, very often that when price is in the midst of making its move and it just wants to retrace to pick up a little bit of demand to give it the momentum to continue going uh, in the direction of the force of price. And right now the force of price is up, right? We're, we're reacting to a monthly supply area but three month demand is in, in control. So we drop down and now we're reacting to a weekly area of demand. So the force of price is up. Force of price of up is up. And we just finished breaking through a valid area of supply. And now it wants to retrace just to pick up a little bit more demand to head up. Hey, you know, price can continue dropping and breaking through that area and hitting down here. Right? That's very possible. So the key to knowing what's going to happen is to watch this chart and watch the U.S. dollar and see what the U.S. dollar is doing when this is just about to hit this area. And if the U.S. dollar looks like it has a ways to go to drop, then I'd only take trades long off this area on confirmation. You know, so maybe a four-hour type of confirmation trade. Let price get down to this area do something, go up, reverse, and then take trades to the upside. That's what would be a better bet. But if the US dollar is hitting a nice area of demand nested within that monthly uh, demand zone, so let's take a look. So monthly demand starts here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This, this is bad basing, and this is not the greatest looking area. So we have to wait for confirmation to take trades here. So let's see, we get a reaction here. Strong. And then we get a zone here. So if price was to hit something like that, then I'd, I'd, I'd be really happy taking longs on the US CAD. Right, but the fact that there is no decent demand area here for price to bounce off of, um, taking a long here would be kind of stepping in front of a train and hoping that it's going to stop in front before smacking you. So now that I speak loudly about loudly about it, or that's my reason for not planning a trade here yet. It's an area that we could get a reaction from, but. Uh, too dangerous to plan a trade there. So I'll be waiting on that one. What are the institutions doing with the US CAD? Long's aggressive, yeah. And cooled off. See, this is the only thing that really gets me. But that could really change too. That could change really quickly. So I'll be playing trades off of this zone here on confirmation simply because of what that US dollar is doing. So let's go to the next one, the Swiss franc. And what do we see with the Swiss franc? We see that longs remain aggressive. In fact, they even went up about 2K. Shorts remain cooled off, although they did increase them by about two and a half thousand. 
Uh, but long exposure dropped a few points from 81 to 76 percent. And in the uh, in the making of uh, in the in the dropping of that, we have net positions dropping about a thousand. So trend lines breaking, price heading down. This looks like it wants to break to this area, and then we have no real good area for a bounce. So I'm holding off on making any moves on this one as well until the U.S. dollar gives me signs that it wants to go up, and then I'll look for trades here. But this chart's very messy. I'm not looking for anything on it at this time. So Euro USD uh, longs are aggressive, go up another 1,000. So super aggressive. Shorts are really really cooled off here. Long exposure goes up by two points from 61 to 63 percent and net positions continue to increase for four straight weeks in a row. Last week's uh, report shows up uh, net net positions uh, rising from 64,000 positive to positive 72,000. So this happens as we consolidated here. So consolidation happening within weekly supply and they're adding longs adding longs and cutting off shorts. What ends up happening? Price penetrates even deeper into the zone. Looks like it's going to break right through and head deeper into this monthly area of the supply. And here's the key. A couple things can happen here. If this monthly area of supply breaks and uh, monthly area of demand on the US dollar holds, then we can see we're going to see something really, really strange because we're going to have a valid area of monthly demand down below here for price to eventually retrace and then bounce from. Uh, and the US dollar will not have an area like that. Right? So if we go to the US dollar, what do we see? If, if we bounce off here, two, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. We will have an area. But this area will just have broken. Ooh, we could get something really interesting starting here. Really interesting. If that supply breaks, then we'll have a valid zone. Let's see. Yeah, it's already a valid zone, but we'll have it even stronger because not only breaking trend line, but also breaking an opposing supply. And this one will only be breaking a trend line. But yeah, we could definitely get something like this. Hmm, that'll be very interesting. Very interesting indeed, but we'll get there when we get there. So, um, longs are aggressive. Okay, bias is definitely to the long side. Bullish, but they've been very aggressive long because uh, they wanted price to get up. They wanted it to rally hard, and it has rallied hard. I mean, Look at the basing here, and then these two nice candles. Explosive move. I mean, that's that's super aggressive. So with that super aggressive move, I'm being very cautious with taking any type of uh, short position. All right. So um, I'm waiting to see the reaction from up here. I am expecting a move to the downside, but when is that going to happen? I couldn't tell you. So for now, I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to watch and I'm going to learn from these charts and watch uh, what the, uh, the institutions are doing with their positions and I'll learn from, from their moves. Pound US dollar. What do we see here? Longs are aggressive. Shorts are cooled off. Uh, long exposure drops two points from 40% to 38%. And shorts rally of course two points to 62 net positions uh, increase from minus 623 to minus 29 so during this drop they added shorts well that's obvious that's why it dropped right so I'm expecting a move down to this area of weekly demand and pretty much just waiting for that US dollar to hit that area of demand for it to rally for this one to drop US dollar, Japanese yen, longs aggressive, shorts cooled off, uh, long exposure remains the same, net positions rally up 1,000, and that happens with this consolidation candle here. So longs are aggressive, but it looks like we're going to get a drop, maybe test this area down here, 
and once we get to this area a rally like this with the US dollar since the bias is, is long and the last one the Kiwi um, shorts are extremely cooled off more so than our longs are extremely cooled off more so than shorts um, long exposure 16k just below 17 average and shorts 22k a little bit more than just below 28,000 so it's a little bit significant here 28 20 22 6k l less than average size we are heading into this area of uh, monthly supply so perfectly timed with the US dollar it gets into this monthly supply which is a reaction off of a three-month supply zone so monthly wow off of a three-month supply zone boom we hit this US dollar hits demand and this drops long being extremely cooled out cooled off supports the fact that uh, we believe that this is what's gonna happen okay very cooled off right now the cells are neutral so it says do nothing but I suspect when price gets up here we're gonna see shorts being increased and then I'll be looking for uh, trade setups to the downside to at least this weekly area of demand all right so that's pretty much it sorry for the long video we're going on about 26 minutes but I just wanted to go through some stuff with you and do it on the video so um, you can see um, how I'm breaking things down all right hope it's helpful to you guys we have a, a few things coming out this week um, on Tuesday we have the Australian interest rate release and the euro rate release on Thursday so be aware of that there's gonna be a lot of volatility it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the euro especially on Thursday and especially with uh, where the euro is sitting right now so very interesting times indeed and uh, again hope this video was helpful for your trading and we will see you in the markets